Patience is given great importance in the teachings of Islam. In the Quran, there are about 110 verses which contain the word sabr or patience. For instance, the Quran states, O you who have believed, seek help through patience and prayer. Indeed, God is with the patient. The Quran even links success with patience. It declares, O people, be patient and steadfast so that you may prosper. The same truth is expressed in a tradition of the Prophet where it is mentioned, learn that success goes with patience. Patience can simply be described as a strategy for buying time. It enables a person to give a well-considered response to every situation in life. The fact is that when people are faced with a provocative situation, they generally tend to react negatively, which leads to an escalation of conflict and in turn results in greater destruction. The wisest policy in such situations is to exercise patience and try to discover the most constructive course of action. The Prophet Muhammad followed the policy of patience throughout his entire life. In Mecca, the Muslims were subjected to atrocities by their opponents to compel them to leave Islam. But the Prophet never used the language of hatred against them. Instead, he always instructed his followers to be patient and not harbour negative feelings against them. Had the Prophet reacted to the atrocities of the opponents, it would have quickly resulted in an all-out conflict between the Muslims and the Meccans, in which Muslims would have suffered one-sided extermination. This is the reason why the Quran advised him to be patient even in the face of atrocities. The eminent Orientalist, Montgomery Watt, in his biography of the Prophet, has written that patient endurance was clearly the wisest course at Mecca. So by adhering to the policy of patience, the Prophet avoided getting involved in destructive conflict and instead was able to concentrate his efforts on peacefully preaching the message of Islam, which won him many more followers and strengthened Islam's position in Arabia.